Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We are coming to you again from Engineers of Tomorrow with episode four of our NG News series. Hi, everyone, it's Therese again, and I'm a part of the Engineers of Tomorrow team. Before we get into today's story, I would like to quickly share with you some of my favorite things about engineering. At Engineers of Tomorrow, we talk a lot about how engineering involves a lot of complex and diverse problems. And these problems require diverse solutions. So that means that there is not one specific type of person that can solve these problems. And because of that, engineering involves working with all kinds of different people, which is really cool and it's one of my favorite things about engineering. Another thing that I love about engineering is that it takes a lot of creativity and imagination to solve these problems. And I have always loved being creative and I found that no matter what field of engineering you end up in, using your creativity and imagination will always be a big part of what you're doing. Another thing that I love is that there are so many possibilities. And this is something that I discovered more once I started studying in my program. But there are so many different fields you can go into. And even within each of these fields, there are so many options. So there really is a place for everyone in engineering, which I think is really cool. So let's jump into our NG News story. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how people are being educated and informed about the virus. Let's start by identifying the problem. There is a lot of information floating around right now about the virus, and sometimes this information isn't necessarily true. Um, because this is such a common issue, it can be hard to know what's true and what's not. So a lot of people may be wondering, where they can go to get information that is based on facts and information they can trust. So how are engineers helping in this situation? Well, the engineers at Google actually created an entire website dedicated to providing trustworthy and factual information about the virus. So the website that Google created has all kinds of valuable information that can help people better understand what's going on, um, which will help with all of this uncertainty that's going around right now. So the website includes health information, um, talking about symptoms to look for, prevention and treatment information. It also covers safety and prevention tips with some really great videos from public, the Public Health Agency of Canada and the World Health Organization. There's also a data and insights section related to some of the questions that other people are wondering from all over the world. And you can also find some great resources to use while you're at home related to learning from home, working from home, exercise, food, crafts, and so many more. Finally, you can also find information about how Google is helping by donating to the global COVID-19 response fund where you can donate to if you want. So the link is here if you wanna check out this awesome resource or you can just Google COVID-19 information and resources. Hopefully this story gave you something that you can use or share with others. Remember that the more information we have, the safer we can be. So this is just a really great resource that everyone can be using right now. You may also have some questions about maybe what role engineers play in creating a website or what type of engineers do this. And these are great questions to be asking. So keep getting curious and asking those questions to learn more and more about engineering. That is all for today's episode, but there are many more stories that we are looking forward to sharing with you about how engineers are working hard to create solutions to these problems and how they're keeping us all safe and healthy right now. So until next time, keep getting curious and continue thinking about other ways engineers are involved in helping solve some of these problems. Bye for now.